Hey guys, it's Jim with the Air Zoo. Let's check out this beautiful B17 Yankee lady that's here just for today offering tours and rides. So let's go and take a tour of this magnificent aircraft because this is one we don't have in our own collection. So as we can see, this is how many of the crew would get in. Now, typically when they were in their younger years, they could just hop up here without the ladder, but um, obviously we're not, we're not young anymore, so we can't do this. Now they've got the barriers up here for the, um, for the nose section, but I'm just gonna sneakily, okay, maybe I'm not, but what we'll do is we'll poke our head in through here as well. So what we can see is we can see um, the bombardier position and the navigator position. So this aircraft, the B-17, had a crew of about 10. Um, it had a pilot, a co-pilot, those were officers. Um, they had a bombardier and a navigator, also officers. Then of course we had our five gunners, and then uh, a flight engineer as well, uh, and those were all enlisted. So anyway, we can't really get poke around too much in here, but I will kind of cram my neck in here and see, you can see the nice visibility um, of everything, the dome on the top and nice sections. You can see also that the bombardier has um, guns and machine guns as well to defend themselves. That was something that happened at the start of that, um, the B-17, a weak point on the B-17 to start with was um, a lack of guns on the front. So often um, enemy pilots would just kind of charge on them head first. So they um, dealt with that by including the chin turret on the bottom, as well as these two um, additional guns up here. Okay, so we can see flight controls above us and that is because the flight deck is just right above us. So once we kind of come through this little hole here, we can get into the flight deck. There it is. So just your classic, classic B-17 um, flight deck here. Nice visibility of our engines on the top. Wonderful stuff we can see. This flight deck was obviously modernized. This aircraft is still flying. So um, some modern additions to that, but still a really cool, lots of buttons and switches and levers um, to play with and have fun with. But great visibility up here. As we move our back, we can, be, oh, firstly, above us, we've got our, our um, dorsal gun turret on the top um, and we can see the visibility um, up here if we maybe poke our head up a little bit. Um, we can see this will be used just to defend us from the top because because you know the B-17 the Flying Fortress We got guns in the front of the aircraft guns on the side of the aircraft guns on the rear of the aircraft guns on the top of the aircraft and guns on the bottom of the aircraft too. Thus the word well the nickname the Flying Fortress Okay, so let's go across into the bomb bay and this is one of the more interesting things because it is a really narrow walkway and across here these are where all the bombs would be kept um, on the aircraft and dropped. But you can see this is just a really, really, really narrow, narrow walkway. Um, and a lot of fun to navigate this during flight. Obviously the bomb bay doors would be closed, but don't let them uh, give you a sense of safety because the bomb bay doors, I believe, they would open um, when about 50 pounds would kind of touch them. They would just kind of spring open for safety. So there we go. Now we'll move into this back section here and we can see this is the radio area, lots of radio stuff and equipment um, and then above us as well we have this open area where we can stick our head out and have a look at everything on the aircraft. We can see it's nice big wings, it's beautiful uh, four engines, it's large horizontal and vertical surfaces too. Um, real incredible aircraft and it can actually move and pretty pretty nimbly for uh, an aircraft of this size oh look help us anyway really really cool in here now as we move back into the back end of this aircraft this is just the area where you would keep all your guns and stuff so down here this is our ball turret now unfortunately I can't get into the ball turret no matter how much begging and uh, tantrums I pull they won't let me in there but that's okay but we can kind of see the ball turret here <laughs> as we come down, um, not very comfortable. The, basically the, um, the gunners would kind of stay in this radio area here during takeoff. Once they got up to, um, start to get up to altitude, they would then take their positions either on a sight gun like here or here. One poor guy would have to cram himself into the ball turret down there. It would kind of flip around and they would slide themselves in, it would come out um, and they would be stuck in there for hours and hours and end. 
And then these guys, I guess, were kind of luckier. They had a bit more space, just a bit more space, but not much, um, to defend the aircraft from the side. We can also see all our um, control wires just going straight through the aircraft. Really, really cool. Something amazing when you're actually flying in this aircraft, you can see all these wires moving and stuff like that. And then finally, as we move just towards the end, towards the rear of the aircraft, we can't get back there, but we can see all the way at the back, that is where the, um, the rear gunner would sit um, in his little location back there. And so right here, this is where the tail wheel would typically tuck into uh, during flight. And all the way at the back is where that lonely tail gunner would sit, all the way at the rear of the aircraft by himself, um, hopefully um, defending the aircraft successfully. But yeah, that is a very, very isolated spot to be in. Um, and definitely one, I don't know which one I'd rather be in, the tail or the ball, uh, probably the ball. I say that now, never been in the ball. Uh, but yeah, so that it, that there it is. The beautiful B-17 Flying Fortress. Incredible aircraft, amazing, just a mainstay. Did incredible work over Europe um, and some also work in the Pacific as well. We're so lucky to have um, aircraft like this visit us at the Air Zoo. So we thank the Yankee Air Museum for bringing this beautiful Yankee lady to the Air Zoo. And check us out for the rest of our visiting aircraft at airzoo.org slash visitingaircraft.